You like that heel click? Yeah. <laughs> Hello there. Not gonna say hi back, that's rude. Hi! Back. Hello, little Deadpool over there in the Deadpool mask. Hi, <laughs> very nice, good to see you. Got a variant out in the crowd, very nice. What a complete and utter surprise to find you all here. It's almost like this was carefully scheduled in the Disney Parks app or something. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you all here for story time? No. Yeah, you guys like stories? <laughs> what are some of your favorite stories? Go ahead, name some. Deadpool. Oh, Deadpool, thank you very much. Okay. Bambi. All right, Bambi, oh, that's adorable. Well, those are all all right suggestions, but we're not gonna do any of those, all right? Because this is my show. We're gonna do what I wanna do. <laughs> Today I've got a tale full of action, romance. Woo. And thank you. And guaranteed to be in strong <laughs> award consideration at the end of the calendar here, it's Beauty Pool. <laughs> oh. And the Wolverines. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> this guy's scared. I saw you flinch, sir. You did. <laughs> All right, let's get started, shall we? Put on my little reading glasses here. Oh, now I can see all of your beautiful, shining faces. Well, that doesn't work. Okay, very nice. Let's see if we can find the opening words. Look how adorable dog pool looks in this picture, huh? Aww. I love Mary Puppins. Thank you for cheering. I scribbled these myself. Once upon a time. You know what? It just feels wrong when I'm doing it with myself. Why don't we all say it together, shall we? One, two, three. Once, Once upon, upon a time. time. Isn't that so much more fun and interactive when we're all in this together? <laughs> For those of you that didn't participate, get your heads in the game. Ahem. <laughs> anyway, upon that time, once, I was walking along, captivated by one of my favorite books, the autobiography of Ryan Rodney Reynolds. Mm. <laughs> when suddenly, I heard the galloping of my father's horse, Philippe. Come on, children, gallop with me now. There we go. All right, Philippe was clearly a little under the weather today, but that's all right. You see, my father had left home earlier in the day to travel to the fair, but now Philippe was coming back alone. My father, no longer in the saddle. Oh, Philippe, I said, where's Papa? Is he in some kind of trouble? I asked him this like he was some sort of television horse that could understand English and respond in kind, but no, this is a story grounded in realism, and Philippe is a real horse, so he just winning. I'm not fully brushed up on my winning, so I just leapt onto his back and guided him to take me to Papa, quickly! And off we galloped. You're not gonna gallop for me this time? Oh, there we go, thank you. A little delayed, but that's all right. Oh, we went deep, deep into the forest. Oh, we were so deep in that forest. It grew very dark, very scary, very dangerous. Kind of like being in a Waffle House at 3 a.m. <laughs> this guy knows. <laughs> Suddenly, we came to a clearing where we saw an enchanted mansion rising out of the mist. It was Professor Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. <laughs> I dismounted Billy and sent him on his way, for I knew who lived here. It was the Harry, the hideous, <laughs> the mention Harry. Harry Potter. Yes. I bet that guy that asked where he was at the beginning of the show, you're probably pretty happy now, huh? Hey, shut up. Come on, we don't got time for stories. Wolfie, wait. You have to let me finish the story. We were just getting to the good part. Look, if you don't want to do it for me, if you don't want to do it for the gram, hello there, cameras. <laughs> at the very least, do it for the children, Wolfie. Come on, kids, show Wolfie your saddest pouting faces until he agrees. You don't have to do that, no, it's fine, fine. I'm devastated she looks in the front row. Uh -uh. I see her. I'm not doing this for you, though. Or that guy in the Deadpool mask. <laughs> I'm doing this for you, kid. Wow, you're a hero, child. Thank you. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, should be in Hollywood, honestly, with those acting chops. It was very convincing. All right. Uh, Just get off. Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> um, so, uh, Belle. It's actually Beauty Pool, that's me. I'm not gonna say Beauty Pool. Come on, girl, sh sh show him the face of absolute despair again. <laughs> no, you're up to... Oh, that kid is <clears throat> devastated. Come I on. see him. Yes. Beauty Pool uh, does a little B&E and meets a bunch of weirdos who are furniture and dishes. 
Okay, well, don't forget about the cutlery and the napkins. I mean, there's a whole dance number and everything. It's then, the real hero shows up. The beast. The wolver beast. Come on, wolver. You have to stay within the rules of parody here. Okay, anyway, Pooh oh. Boy over here makes a mess of things as usual. Then it's up to Wolverine to save the day. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I slice up some bad guys while Beauty Queen over here uh, stands in the corner making a bunch of stupid jokes with outdated cultural references. <gasps> How dare you! My cultural references are timeless and ever enduring, like Bugsland. <laughs> oh, what happened to Bugsland? Hitman, <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> All right, this whole thing is going off the rails. You didn't mention anything about Mrs. Potts, her adorable, charming son Chip. Lumiere, or even Chef Boosh. This is a deep cut for all you magic key holders out there. It's a snow. <laughs> Not even a few bars of tale as old as time. Hey, I said no musical theater. Really? I feel like if you wanted to be a showman, you could be the greatest. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> all right, well, I've clearly touched a nerve, children. Maybe it's time to wrap things up. The moral of this story, it's pretty obvious actually, it's don't open your door to strangers. <laughs> it might just be a creepy old witch who will enchant you, your entire home, everyone and everything in it just for not letting them in. It's actually kind of a weird story now that I think of it. We tell this to children? <laughs> you do. Okay, that's fair. Well, I guess we should be off, but Logie Bear, I'll let you do the honors and say the magic special words. What words? You know, how all good Disney stories end. And nobody say a post credit scene, okay? That is so overdone. And only in the FCU, the Feige Cinematic Universe. <laughs> I'm still workshopping that acronym. I feel like there's just one too many letters. <laughs> I'm at it. Get a new mask. Oh, wow. Well. Oh. well, all right, thanks for coming, Logie Bear. Gosh, this is much more of a third wall kind of guy than a fourth wall kind of guy. <laughs> Sorry, it's because of your little well, anyway, uh, thank you all for coming. And I just want to be clear for the record, they all lived happily ever, ever after. after. <sighs> I love your mask, by the way. That is until the direct-to-video release. I mean, has anyone even seen Once Upon a Deadpool? I have a Christmas special. I know Deadpool mask guy. You've seen it. Yeah, you have. Love you, buddy. All right, bye, everyone. Bye, bye. Bye. Amazing. <laughs> the whole crowd was sitting for that one. Yeah. I don't think I've seen that. Thank you. That was awesome all by itself. You like that?